the Rideau Canal, the world's largest outdoor skating rink. have friends. Wow. skates ready to go. A 7.8 kilometer stretch of the Rideau Canal in Ottawa is turned into a skateway, winding its way through the city during the winter months of January and February. since I've been on skates, so probably a little rusty. So we're skating towards downtown Ottawa. You can see part of it up ahead. Very nice, very nice day today. Ice is a bit soft here. <laughs> Eight kilometers from one end all the way to downtown. And it's oh. a, a 90 Olympic sized rinks. <laughs> yeah, it's in the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest skating rink in the world. The size of, for the surface area of 90 Olympic sized rinks. One million visits a year. And usually we have, we can get beaver tails here, which is a favorite. It's a Nice uh, Canadian delicacy. 
it's deep fried dough, usually <laughs> sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. Yeah. We might make those for ourselves to make up for missing out this year. Yeah, because of uh, COVID-19, they don't have them this year on the ice for everyone's safety. bike path that follows along the river and there's the river right now the skateway right down there Each year during February, Ottawa has a winter festival called Winterlude. There are fireworks over the canal and amazing ice sculptures to see. And of course, the traditional and delicious beaver tails pastry. Alright, so usually we uh, were able to get beaver tails right on the ice. You can uh, skate right up and buy them during uh, Winterlude, but because of the pandemic this year, we can't do that. So we're going to make our own beaver tails here at home. They're called beaver tails because they are in the shape of a beaver's tail. So let's get our beaver tails started. We're going to take about a cup and a quarter of warm water. I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of yeast. of flour. You can use a combination of white and whole wheat flour up to half and half. So we're going to add the flour. 
and then mix to form a dough and then let it knead for about five minutes. So we've got a nice soft dough. We're just going to drizzle it with a bit of olive oil and let it rise for a couple of hours. So our beaver tail dough has been rising for a few hours. Look at that. All right, so let's divide the dough. to make about 10 beaver tails here. So we have some canola oil heating up in a pan on about medium heat. Just roll them out to about half an inch thick. All right, so we've got various sizes of beaver tails here, a few small ones. And we've got our toppings ready too, some melted butter, and cinnamon sugar and some garlic butter. Okay, so we're gonna see if the oil is hot enough by just putting a little piece of dough in. Thinking that's almost ready. All right, are you ready for our first beaver tail? Let's give it a try. Take long, just a few seconds per side until it looks nice and golden. There we go. Paper towel to absorb some of the excess oil. Yeah. That's a big one. Look at those beaver tails. Nothing quite like fried dough. It's best to dress these and eat them hot as soon as they're done cooking. All right, so our traditional flavor is cinnamon sugar. So we're going to brush with some melted butter. Sugar on top. Cinnamon and sugar. And sometimes you can put a little bit of lemon juice on it as well to add some extra flavor. That looks really good. We've also got some garlic butter. You could also dress them with garlic butter. Don't add sugar if you've got garlic butter, but you could add some cheese. That would be good. Yeah, so you can make these sweet or savory. You can put lots of different toppings on them. Chocolate with marshmallows always goes really well with beaver tails. Mm. Very good. Beaver tails. Well, that was a fun day today skating on the world's largest outdoor skating rink, making and eating beaver tails. If you've never had those, you should really try them. They're delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, thanks for watching.